faith in it. So um, I was talking with my family yesterday about just some things that God has done over the last couple of years and um, came up that there was a, this pretty amazing thing that happened in, in my life the last year, about a year ago, actually. So I reached out to Alan and I was like, hey, you got someone to, to share a testimony uh, before tomorrow's song because I knew we were playing it. And he was like, nope, it's yours. So um, it's like, okay, God, that's, that's pretty clear. Um, so when I, I, I've talked about this before in the past, but when I was um, a little kid, my dad passed away from an aortic aneurysm. And uh, later in my, my childhood, my mom, uh, feeling the need, the desire to see whether that was something that was going to be uh, part of my future, my sister's future, took us to a cardiologist. I was in middle school at the time. And uh, we went to the cardiologist, and they diagnosed, uh, they cleared us both for, for the aneurysm, um, but they diagnosed both my sister and me with uh, something called sudden arrhythmia death syndrome. Uh, which sounds pretty intense, right? Um, I always like to like terrify people with that, that name. Uh, I don't know, it's a twisted sense of humor. Um, but I, it was something I had to take blood pressure medication all throughout my life, uh, better part of the last 20 years. Um, and I didn't know this at the time, but uh, when I was diagnosed with that, I would come to find out later once Megan and I got married, and started looking at having children that I would not be insurable for life insurance because of the name sudden death, uh, makes sense. Um, so that was a, a really, uh, that was a big deal. Um, my wife working part time, um, trying to take care of kids at home. Um, I didn't have, I mean, I'm a teacher and a pastor, so you can imagine, uh, I don't exactly have the greatest way of ensuring that financially my family's taken care of uh, through savings. So. That was a that was a, a big need um, that we we just went to God in prayer. We're like, God, I don't I don't know what your plan is for this. Uh, what's going to happen? And so we just dealt with it for a few years. It was just a continued prayer. It was denied life insurance a couple of times. Um, and then about a year ago, actually during the middle of like all the COVID stuff, my cardiologist's office just randomly st decided to stop refilling my medication. So I was like, okay, well that's not cool. I'm not going to go see you guys more than once a year uh, to just have my prescription refilled. So I went to a different cardiologist's office and I was like, at my first visit, I told him my history, why I was there. I was, I'm like, I'm literally just here to get a, a prescription refill. And he was like, well, let's get, let's get your, your stuff checked out. We'll, we'll get you an echocardiogram cardiogram and, and, and see what's going on. And so he looks at my, my echo and he's like, I don't know what to tell you, but like, I'm not seeing any evidence that you have this at all. Yeah. And so, wow. He was like, I'm not an expert on, uh, on this stuff, but there is someone in our office who is. I want you to go see him, and we'll, we'll get this squared away. So about a month later, I went, got checked again. He was like, yeah, I, I agree. Like, there's no evidence in here whatsoever that you have any, anything wrong at all. And so he was like, just to, just to double check, just to make sure that you could get insurance for your family. Let's, let's get you genetically tested, which we would looked at in the past, but it was way, way too expensive, but the, I guess the technology has improved since then. And it was, it was basically nothing to have this done. It comes back genetically, I'm negative for this, this thing. So, I'm confident that God had his hand over that entire And not only that, my, my family is now, doesn't have to worry about if I were to suddenly pass away or whatever in a car accident or something unrelated, they're taken care of because I'm now insured. But on top of that, not having the stress of my life, my no wife's stress. situation no to worry about this particular health health condition. Amen. It's, God is so good. <laughs> this is just one example of just the numerous things that he's done personally in my life. So, if you, if anyone here takes anything away from that, just praise God. Let's let's uh, pray as we enter into another time of worship. Lord, I thank you for just how good you are. You are just unfathomable in your ways. Your ways are not our ways; they are unknown to us, and yet we see the evidence of you working in our lives, and we can come before you and thank you and praise you. Thank you, Jesus.
The writer of Hebrews tells us that we no longer have to be ashamed coming before you, but that we can approach your throne boldly. I thank you for that. I thank you for what you've accomplished to make that possible through the death and resurrection of your son. I pray that you would bless our worship now. It's in his name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.